So this here was a requested review, Tom Ford Beau de Jour. We're going to cover many things in this review, including the scent profile, performance, versatility, and of course, we're gonna take it to the streets to see what women think of this fragrance. Let's get into this review. So this here is going to be a classic Fougere style, and Fougere fragrances are associated with that barbershop smell. It's going to have a very heavy dose of lavender and oak moss, but there's also going to be a pop of freshness that's coming from the mint note. The best way to describe this fragrance, guys, is imagine you're at the barber shop and you get a clean shave and afterwards your barber applies club mint pinot aftershave and then you get a nice hot towel treatment and a little bit of powder and the combination of all those aromas coming together that's kind of what this fragrance smells like the scent profile is very fresh and very clean at the same time it comes off a little bit more mature when you compare this to the recent releases in men's fragrances now fougere fragrances tend to be a little bit divisive especially for the younger crowd because when they smell this style of fragrance, they may find it to be a bit old school. Now, if you're somebody who's younger, you could absolutely wear this fragrance. In fact, you're definitely going to be very unique and you're going to stand out from the crowd. The current trend nowadays is blue fragrances and sweet fragrances. So if you're looking for a unique signature scent, I believe Tom Ford Beau de Jour is going to be a great option. So again, guys, this is going to be a classic Fougere fragrance that's going to smell like a barbershop. You're going to have a very heavy dose of lavender and oak moss with a touch of which is going to give it a pop of freshness. It comes off very fresh, very clean, and very mature. At the same time, if you're a younger guy who wants to wear this fragrance, you absolutely can. In fact, you'll stand out from the crowd because not many people are wearing this style of fragrance. When it comes to performance, you're going to get a solid six to seven hours of longevity with very reserved projection. When it comes to Fougeres, guys, they don't tend to be room fillers or extremely strong. For the first couple of hours, you're going to get a foot of projection. So it's not going to be extremely strong. At the same time, when people come close to you, they're going to notice it. For the next couple of hours, the projection dials back a little bit more. It's still going to be about a half a foot of projection close to a skin scent. Around that four hour mark, it becomes more of a skin scent. And around that six to seven hour mark is going to be faded. So you're going to get a solid six to seven hours of longevity with very moderate projection but I do believe the performance is pretty fitting for this kind of scent profile. When it comes to versatility, this one here, guys, is going to be in the S tier category. It is signature scent worthy and Swiss Army Knife certified. You can wear this one in the fall, winter, summer, and spring. It's a very fresh and clean scent that could literally be worn for any season. You could also wear this one to the office. In fact, it is signature scent worthy in that kind of environment comes off very fresh, very elegant, and very classy. You can also wear this one on dates. It's not going to be seductive by any way, but nobody's going to be offended by this fragrance. I would not wear this one to the club. I feel like the projection on this one is very reserved. You can because it is fresh and clean, but honestly, it would not be my first choice. You could also wear this one in suit and tie situations, even a tuxedo. The only place I would not wear this fragrance is the gym because I feel like it comes off a bit too classy and a bit too elevated for that kind of environment. Environment. But honestly, guys, this one here is going to be signature scent worthy. You can wear it for any situation, any occasion, any season, any reason. And of course, we took it to the streets to see what women think of this fragrance. Let's play the footage. Sorry to interrupt you. I'm a fragrance influencer. Can I get your opinion on this men's fragrance real quick? Uh, sure. Thank you. You can take it, smell it, give us your honest opinion on it. It's very strong. Very strong? Um, I mean, I like it. You like it? Yeah. What kind of man do you imagine wearing this one? Tough question, I know. <laughs> Someone European, I feel. Someone <laughs> European, okay. <Yeah. laughs> so, compared to all the men's fragrances you might have smelled before, mm -hmm. you find this one to be impressive or average? Average. Average, why is that? Um, I feel like there's something that's a little bit too overwhelming with the scent that feels almost overcompensating. Okay, <laughs> that's fair, like something sharp in there. Yeah. So what would you give it as a score from one to 10, 10 being the best men's fragrance? Um, and I'll show you the bottle after. 6.5. 6.5, okay. So the fragrance we showed you is going to be Beau de Jour by Tom mm -hmm. Ford. It kind of has like the aftershave smell to it, like a mm -hmm. classic men's fragrance. Um, is there another men's fragrance you like you want to share with us before I leave? Uh, no, I don't have one off the top of my okay. head. I'm sorry. It's okay, thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Yeah. I'm a fragrance influencer. Can I get your opinion on this men's fragrance real quick? Uh, sure, yeah. Thank you. You can take it, smell it, give us your honest opinion on it. I like it. Yeah, it's really good. It's really good? Yeah. <laughs> so compared to all the men's fragrances you smelled before, do you find this one to be average or impressive? Um, I think impressive. Impressive? Why yeah. is that? Huh? Why is that? I mean, it's less strong. Okay. I like, I like the like, 
Silverstones, I guess. Okay. okay. And it's also like really different. I feel like it if I walk like by them, yeah. Musky, unique. Okay. Yeah. So, what would you give this one as a score from 1 to 10, 10 being the best men's fragrance? If you want to smell that again, you can. Um, 7.5 for sure. Also, yeah, first impression. Yeah. Seven, an 8. An 8? Okay, 7.5, 8. So, the fragrance we showed you is going to be Tom Ford. Bo if you want to hold it, you can. Uh, Beau de Jour. It kind of has like a classic fougere style of fragrance for men, which is like that barbershop smell. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, is there another men's fragrance you like that you want to share with us before I leave? Really. You're gonna say something. Um, I like the one million. One million. That's a that's a classic. The gold bar one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of sweet. What about you? Um, it's kind of basic, but survive. I feel like oh, it's, cool. it's, it's a classic. Crazy. Number one most sold men's fragrance yeah. today. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Have a good day. I'm a fragrance influencer. Can I get your opinion on this men's fragrance real quick? Thank you so much. Yeah. You give us your honest opinion on it. Okay. Very manly. What do you yes. think? Let's have her smell it. Okay, uh, perfumes para hombre. Mm -hmm. yes. Te gusta? Huh? Fresh. 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 Do you like it? Really fresh. Yes. Okay. So, <laughs> compared to other men's fragrances, do you find this one to be impressive or average? No, this one. More impressive. More impressive. Yes. You too. Yes. <laughs> so, like you like it a lot? Uh -huh. Yes. From Go ahead, we were just gonna say something. I know, I also like it. You like it too? Okay, so from one to 10, 10 being the best men's fragrance, what would you give this one as a score? If you wanna smell it again, you can. 8.5. 8.5, that's good. Yes. Eight. Eight, okay, yes. awesome. <laughs> you guys have some expensive taste because this is going to be Tom Ford Beau de Jour. <laughs> It's like a classic masculine men's fragrance. Yeah. Um, is there another men's fragrance you like that you want to share with us before I leave? Not really. I'm, I'm not really into fragrances. Okay, thank you yes. so much. Have a good day. Bye bye. Yeah, you too. You too, thank you. I'm a fragrance influencer. Can I get your opinion on this men's fragrance real quick? Thank you. You can take it, smell it. Okay. Give us your honest opinion on it. I also don't want it. I actually like this one. You actually like this yeah. one? <laughs> I would like it on somebody, yeah. Wow, okay, that's pretty good. For sure. <laughs> so compare, you can hold on to it if yeah. you'd like. So compared to other men's fragrances you smell before, you find this one to be average or above average? This one is a little bit more um, calmer than calmer. the ones I've, I've smelled before. Okay. The ones I've smelled before are usually very potent. Very potent. And, um, I don't like that. <laughs> okay, so what kind of man do you imagine wearing this fragrance here? I oh, know we're asking creative questions now. <laughs> I don't know. Mm. But I, that's all I think it's somebody in a suit. Somebody in a suit? Okay, so classy, classy. <laughs> um, from one to ten. Ten being the best men's fragrance. Okay. What would you give this one as you score? Probably like a eight point five. Eight point five? Yeah. Pretty good score. Yeah. So the one we showed you is going to be Tom Ford. Oh. Yeah, this is Beau de Jour. Oh. What's on for? It's like a classic fougere men's fragrance. I just got the bitter peach. No way, that's a good one. <laughs> I also like uh, Lost Cherry from them on women. It's really, oh, it's really good too. It's like, if you like bitter peach, I think you would also like Lost Cherry. It's like different styles, but they're kind of like fruity, fresh, sweet. Um, is there another men's fragrance you actually like that you want to share with us before I leave? By Tom Ford, Oud Wood? No, no, Maison Francis. Ah. Maison Francis. Is it the Oud Star one? Star it's the Oud uh, Satin Mood. That's what it's called. Maison Francis Kurchan. Yes, 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 yes. Oud Satin Mood. That one I like. Yeah, you have some expensive taste. Tom Ford, <laughs> Oud Satin Mood. <laughs> well, you're amazing. Thank you so much. Thank have a good day. You too. You too. You guys want to be in my video? I'm a fragrance influencer and I get women's opinions on men's fragrances. You guys want to be in it real quick? It'll be. Two minutes? Okay, we'll come back to you then. You want to be in it? I can tell. It'll be fast. No, It'll be. You have two minutes. Oh yeah, two minutes. It'll be very fast. Yeah, you come on in right here because you got the thing in the middle between you guys. <laughs> yeah. So you're gonna smell this fragrance, okay. and then you're gonna pass it to each other and just give us your honest opinion on it. That's it. Here you go. You can take it. Do you like it or not like it? I like it. You like it? Okay. What about you? Okay. You like it? Yeah. What do you like about it? Pleasant. Yeah. Clean, pleasant. You know when you like have a smell of perfume or like a one that's like smells like a guy? Mm -hmm. Like it like does it, but it doesn't smell girly. 
Got it. It smells good. So it's like masculine, but not in a bad way though. Yeah. Okay. So compared to other men's fragrances you smelled before, you find this one to be average or impressive? If you want to smell it again, you can. I would, I would say it's definitely not average. Definitely not average. So impressive for you. No. Ooh. Not impressive either. <laughs> <laughs> Very picky. <laughs> what about you two? Neither. I liked it. Impressive. You liked it as well. Okay. Yeah. Final question. From one to ten. 10 being the best men's fragrance, what would you give this one as a score? Solid seven. Seven? Yeah. Okay. Eight. 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 Okay, I like that. <laughs> so the fragrance we showed you is going to be Tom Ford Beau de Jour, okay. which kind of has like the classic men's fragrance smell with a lot of lavender and oak moss. So it's like very clean at the same time. Okay. Is there another men's fragrance you'd like you want to share with us before I leave? Okay, well you guys were awesome. Thank you so much, have a good day, bye bye. As you can see in the footage guys, this one got some pretty good scores. We did get some scores in the seven range, but a lot of the other scores were eight and above. I do believe you're going to get some compliments with this fragrance when people come close to your vicinity, because remember guys, the projection isn't that strong. So overall guys, if you're looking for a Fougere fragrance that's going to get you some compliments, I do believe Tom Ford Beau de Jour is going to be a great choice. So what's my final verdict on Tom Ford's Beau de Jour? Let's put the bottle down and get serious. So just to be fully transparent guys, I don't hate this fragrance in any way, shape or form, but it's just not quite my taste. When it comes to Fougere fragrances, I tend to be very picky and this one here is not quite my style. I do believe the scent profile is very good on this fragrance. It smells very elegant, very classy. In fact, it doesn't smell old school compared to a lot of the other Fougeres on the market. The performance on this one is going to be pretty solid. Six to seven hours of longevity. And with this kind of scent profile, it's to be expected. And when it comes to the versatility, this is easily a signature scent worthy kind of scent. And when it comes to women's reactions, this one actually did pretty good. But just keep it in mind with this style of fragrance, people have to come close to your vicinity in order to notice it. But overall guys, I do believe it's a very good fragrance. It's just not quite my taste. So hope you guys enjoyed my review of Tom Ford's Beau de Jour. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below what video you want to see next. Make sure to subscribe. If you want to follow me on social media, I'll leave it right there for you guys. Have a good day.